Hi, I'm Julie Blanner and today I'm sharing how to paint linoleum and vinyl floors. This quick and easy tutorial will totally transform your space in absolutely no time at all. It's quick, it's easy, and it's inexpensive and one of my very favorite fixes to date. In fact, you don't always get to do a full-blown remodel. More often than not, we need to do a refresh. But this refresh is so pretty and so easy, you would never know the difference. It's actually really durable as well. If you follow my tutorial to a T, this will last you for years to come. Whether you're doing a small space like we did here in our laundry room or an entire space, painting your linoleum and vinyl floors could not be easier. It's actually one of the quickest fixes you can do to transform your space and get that durable finish that you're looking for. Painting a linoleum or vinyl floor is such a quick and easy fix. It's perfect for laundry rooms, for basements, for kitchens, for entryways, for mudrooms. It also works really well in sunrooms and porches. Just about anywhere you have linoleum. It's really perfect too because it can be wet. The options are endless too. You can have so much fun with it, having it dyed to your favorite color. You can stencil it or do stripes or plaids. You can truly make it fun. You need just a few supplies to paint your vinyl or linoleum floors. First and foremost is a high quality porch paint. This not only makes it waterproof, but it also makes it really durable. It, it's strong enough to adhere to your vinyl or linoleum. Second of all, you're going to need some sandpaper. We have to scuff it up so that the paint will adhere. In addition, if you really want to go over the top, which I highly recommend you do if it's a space where you get a lot of wear and tear, I recommend using liquid sander deglosser. And of course, you're going to need your basic painting supplies. A paint roller with a really fine foam roller, a paintbrush to trim it out along the edges or cut it in, and tape. Painter's tape is really a great tool to prevent you from painting on the trim and other areas. Let's get started, shall we? If you're doing a large space, I highly recommend you get an orbital sander. It makes this task really quick and easy and painless. They're really inexpensive too, just about $35. It will quickly sand your entire floor without a lot of effort. Otherwise, I recommend using a sanding block with sandpaper on it. You wanna really rough it up, so use a low number so that it has a high grit. Once you've sanded the floor thoroughly, you can use liquid sander deglosser. This will further eliminate any finish and allow the paint to adhere. It also roughs it up and really makes it durable because the paint just totally sticks then to the rough surface that it creates. It takes the shininess, the gloss off of the linoleum. The most important step when you are painting vinyl and linoleum floors is to clean them thoroughly first. You don't want any dust, any dirt residue, any grease left behind. So I highly recommend enlisting the help of a really great degreaser. I'll link to the one I use in the description below. This will create a smooth, durable finish. Mop, wipe or rinse until there is no residue remaining. Allow the floor to completely dry before moving on to the next step. Now it's time to prep. Prep is always an important step when it comes to painting because any kind of bleed really makes the work a lot harder in the end. You end up having to add on another paint project. So I recommend you use high quality painter tape that will prevent any bleeding on your existing trim and surrounding areas.
it's time to move on to rolling. Now this is the best part. Unlike when you're painting walls, you can just pour your paint directly onto the floor. Add some paint to your floor, get your roller fully submerged and remove the excess and paint up one strip at a time. Try to avoid going over the same spot twice to prevent it from catching and getting tacky. This will leave you with the smoothest finish. Go over each area just once and allow it to dry completely. What you'll have is a thin see-through layer. Don't be alarmed, the second coat will coat flawlessly. Once that is completely dry, which takes about four hours, you can apply your second coat. We're going to apply the second coat in the same way we apply the first coat. just go over it once. You can do any touch-ups later, but if you go over an area more than once, it won't leave as smooth of a finish. So I recommend doing it in one long row at a time, whether you're doing it for an entire space or a small space. Work your way out of the room. Now let it dry an additional four hours. If any touch-up is needed, you can spot roll as needed. Allow it to dry four hours before touching the surface, but it will take a full 30 days for linoleum floor paint to fully cure. Once it's dry, you can remove your tape and enjoy your hard work. You don't have to worry about your linoleum floors getting wet. Porch paint is extremely durable and can withstand water. I hope you love this tutorial for a simple transformation in painting vinyl and linoleum floors. Don't forget to click subscribe and ring that bell for notifications. I look forward to seeing you again soon.